Hi, welcome to Simon here. In this video, I'll be removing the battery and also M.2 SSD drive just to show how to do the replacement if you happen to need to replace the battery or your hard drive. Let's identify the model of the laptop. Here is the HP Envy X360 15 FH0013DX. I'll be using a Torque T5. If you're not sure where to buy the replacement battery, M.2 drive or the tools for the repair, please check the link down in the description below. I'll direct either to Amazon or eBay where you can find the tools or the replacement parts. So the next step is to go ahead and pry open the back cover. I'll be using a metal prying tool just so I can get enough room to get in. Next is to get a plastic prying tool instead of the metal because you do not want to um, scrape and damage the computer. And remove the entire back cover. So the cover here only held down by four screws two on the top and two at the bottom here you can see that the battery is right underneath the touchpad or the trackpad so if your trackpad is not clicking if you have problem clicking on the trackpad then more likely that the, um, the battery is swollen and it's pushing from the inside out to stop the clicker to work so that more likely um, is the battery issue here I have a Phillips screwdriver Once you have removed all the screws, then the battery will just pop right out. This is the model here, SA04XL. That is the battery model. To remove the M.2 drive, and this is the hard drive here on the slot. Go ahead and remove it with the Phillips screwdriver. You have to slide it down at about 45 or well, less than 45 degree angle slide it down towards your body um, the m.2 is kind of like adhesive onto it because i'm pretty sure they do have uh, thermal pads which is the uh, heat conductor and that thermal pads may have glue onto the uh, the m.2 here so that is the thermal pad right there okay so the thermal pad it feels it's kind of sticky and stick onto the M.2. This is the Western Digital, and if you're planning to upgrade to a larger one, uh, you can always put in a two terabyte or maybe a four terabyte M.2 drive. Slide it in and install just like that. Okay, uh, that's pretty much it. If you have any question, comment down below, and um, if you've if you like this video, please go ahead and smash the like button for me. I really appreciate that. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye now.